Hanuman's selflessness and his love, dedication and sacrifice for Lord Ram knew no limits. Hanuman carried the signet ring that Ram had given him and he crossed the ocean and entered Lanka during the night. Armed guards who were on watch day and night stopped any strangers who passed by. But as Hanuman was a monkey, he entered the city unchallenged. Oh Lord, I have not seen Mother Sita. How am I going to find her here? Hanuman entered the palace thinking that Ravana must have kept Sita somewhere in the palace. He searched each and every room. There are so many beautiful women sleeping. How will I find Sita? I don't think she will be here. How will I face my lord if I don't find her? If I see any dissatisfaction on his face, I will die. Hanuman grew restless but calmed himself down by chanting Ram's name. Ram 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 He began to search the palace again. Now what should I do? If I leave without getting a glimpse of Sita, Shugriva will kill me. And my life is not worth living if I am unable to complete the task that Lord Ram has given me. I would prefer to die right here. Hanuman began walking across the gardens and then exclaimed, Ah, I haven't searched the gardens. Let me give it a try. The garden was filled with big Ashoka trees. Hanuman jumped from one tree to another. When he was on top of a big tree, he saw a very beautiful lady sitting under it surrounded by demonesses. Trijada, a demon, was consoling Sita. Do not worry. Ram will definitely come and rescue you. Do not cry, my child. Hanuman was listening to all this and he felt very happy. When Hanuman was about to jump, he saw Ravana coming towards Sita. Oh, my beautiful maiden Sita, you must marry me. Ravana, this will never happen. It is better you forget all about it. Wait and see. My Lord will come to save me and that will be the end of you. Gods, kill her if she doesn't listen to you. Ravana left the garden and the demonesses started advising Sita. Let's kill her. She is very adamant about her decision not to marry Ravana. Hanuman heard this. This is the right time for me to reveal myself. Hanuman jumped from the tree and landed amidst the demonesses. As soon as they saw him, they fled in different directions. Ravana, you can take any form you want. But I will not get attracted to you. Go away and leave me alone. Mother, I am not Ravana. I am Hanuman, the humble servant of Lord Ram. I have come here to serve you. Do not lie. If Ram has sent you, then how did you cross such a big ocean? Mother, first let me show you the ring that Lord Ram has asked me to give you. Hanuman gave her the signet ring. On seeing the ring, Sita's face shone with happiness. Hanuman, I was waiting for this day. Sita pulled out an ornament from her hair and gave it to Hanuman. Give this to my lord and tell him that his Sita is waiting for him. Yes, mother. But before leaving this place, I would like to show the whole of Lanka how powerful Ram is. Do not worry, nothing will harm you. Hanuman started 
uprooting all the trees. He threw them all around and destroyed the whole garden. And then he took the demonesses, put them in his mouth, started biting them and spitting them out. While doing this, he shouted, I am the servant of Lord Ram. I will swallow Ravana and destroy the whole of Lanka. Who dares to stop me? In a short time, the beautiful garden was turned to a place of utter chaos. The news reached Ravana. Minister, what are you doing? Can't you stop a monkey? Gather an army and bring him before me. The minister went out with an army, but Hanuman destroyed the army. He returned before the court empty-handed. Shame on you! Do not show your face to me! Get out! Father, permit me to go outside. I will bring the monkey here in no time. Indrajit went to the garden and fought against Hanuman. But Indrajit found it difficult to catch Hanuman. Let me stop my mischief. I want to see Ravana, so I should allow them to catch me. Indrajit captured Hanuman as soon as he stood still. Hanuman was tied with numerous ropes and taken to Ravana's court. Ravana saw Hanuman and was very furious. So, you are the one who has destroyed my garden. Yes. I warn you that your whole kingdom will be destroyed if you do not send back Sita to Ram. Guards, dip his tail in oil and set fire to it. The guards immediately wrapped Hanuman's tail in cloth. But his tail grew bigger and bigger and they couldn't handle it. Set it on fire! Hanuman took a deep breath and broke his bonds as if they were mere threads. With his long tail on fire, Hanuman flew into the sky. He flew over palace, houses and gardens, setting them all on fire. As he flew over the Ashoka garden, he made sure Sita was safe. Then, before returning to Ram, he put his tail in the ocean to put out the fire. The fire had not burnt his tail. Having caused enough commotion, Hanuman took a deep breath and disappeared into the sky with a thunderous roar.